everybody, it's me, Mrs. Finch, and today I am with Regan from Fidget with Regan. We are going to organize her entire fidget toy collection today. I got a bunch of new organization bins, and I literally can't wait to see how it turns out. This is what it looks like right now. She has a couple different types of storage options. So she has these drawers. She also has like baskets, things like this all different types of storage containers. So I went and got her some matching containers and they slide really nice. And we're going to organize them first and do like a tour of all of your fidget toys, which I'm really excited about. I am too. And then we're going to organize them, which is what you're watching in this video. So make sure to check out the tour video as well. So the first thing we gotta do is take the drawers out, dump them on the floor, and organize them. Oh my goodness. I think we're gonna have our work cut out for us here. We sure will. I've had these drawers for a couple years and they're pretty beat up. I think it's definitely time to retire them. Yeah. When do you think the last time you organized these were? It's probably been about two years. Oh my goodness. <laughs> this is gonna be so much fun. Let's use this for any like broken or little random pieces and let's just get started. Look at what I just found. I've never seen one like this before. It's the cutest little thing. Oh, I love it. It is super fun. Just finished organizing the first drawer. How do you feel about that? Looks pretty good, actually. Okay, now let's do that poppet one that's behind you. I love organizing poppets. Let's just dump them out here. What a beautiful sight. There's a couple more drawers of poppets, right? Yep. Okay, let's do these ones first. And then I think there's a drawer over here. I can see cute little poppets popping out. And then down here, there's some more. Mrs. Bench, I bet you can't find five blue poppets. Okay, do I have a time limit? Uh, we'll say 10 seconds. Oh my goodness. Okay, ready, set, go. One, two, three, oh no. four, oh no. five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten! <laughs> I did it! That was actually way harder than I thought. I was like, oh, that'll be easy, but it wasn't. I said this goes by the foot and she's like this is a foot I thought it was an octopus and I don't really know so do you think it's a foot like that's what I thought it was I thought it was a foot or do you think it's an octopus like Reagan thought let us know in the comments because now I it really doesn't look like either honestly no it doesn't so what is this thing is it a foot an octopus or something else let us know in the comments this is what we have so far. We did puzzles, jumbo, then like, these are all movies. So like Stitch, Eleven, Coco Melon. We did junk food, square, circle, octagon. You can kind of see what we did. So that's what we have so far. Now let's do stress balls next. The stress ball drawer is probably so heavy. <sighs> oh my goodness. <laughs> they really like, it's just the weight adds up. We actually have to go to the hall because we've already taken up most of Reagan's room and we still have all of that left, but let's organize this in the hallway. They're so sticky, it like kept the exact shape. Oh my goodness, look. No, that's really so funny. Oh my goodness. It like kept the exact shape of the container. To organize those stress balls, I just put them in their own pile. So I put like all the Orbeez in one pile, all the DNA balls in another pile, and I just kind of like to have them all separated with the ones that are similar. The fun part is to figure out what type of stress ball it is, you have to squeeze it. So you're just literally just squeezing satisfying stress balls. It's like the most fun organizing ever. We have all of my sand ones right here. These are definitely my favorite. Cause they're, they're like a dough ball because when you squish them, they hold their shape. But then they're also like an Orbeez stress ball because they have Orbeez in them. These are amazing. I love these so much. They just have the most 
interesting texture ever. And they come in the three packs. So. They're slightly sticky, not like super sticky, but like they do kind of stick to your hand a little bit, but they don't leave your hand feeling sticky. No. I love them so much. This is 100% my favorite. We just finished organizing the stress balls by texture. We have DNA balls. We have shaving cream ones, Orby ones, and we even have water ones. We finished doing all the big drawers and I didn't even realize how dirty they were. I'm so excited to have new ones. Um, so these are our dimples, but we noticed there's a couple fidget spinners in there. So we're going to do a little extra organizing and get anything out of the dimple pile that's not supposed to be here. like a little random assortment. We have some slinkies though. You wanna put these with the other slinkies we had? Then this is really fun. Put the magnets, put all the mesh and marble in their own little pile. Oh, I love that one. That is so fun. I always thought it kinda looked like a pumpkin. It's really neat. It's a fidget spinner, but it has a panda oh. face. That is so cute. Those are some really big dimples. Those are like jumbo sized. Let's go organize these noodles now. And then these can go with the air stress balls. Noodles always look so pretty. Let's organize these and like separate each specific item out. Perfect, and we'll see if we can use this little container later. Oh look, all the fashion fidget dolls. Love them. We need to get them a better container. Let's put them in a little pile. You are not where you belong. These are already full of tangles, so we're probably just going to leave it as it is. So that means this is the very last drawer. Finally at the end. This is where the new containers are going to go, so we need to get all these old ones out and then put these beautiful ones in instead. Perfect, now we're going to get the smaller size on top of the medium size. Okay, this is the new setup. I think it looks really clean and nice. Now we got to organize them into the smaller containers and then put the smaller containers into the drawers. And I cannot wait to show you that transformation. But let's do the little organizing into containers now. We're going to organize the noodles into these little trays, and then we'll put the trays inside the container. It fits perfectly. We're going to take these and a big medium drawer and organize our stress balls now. So I'm gonna put these DNA balls in here because I think they fill it up pretty well. Will those fit on the side? I don't no. know if it'll go in smoothly. Okay. So Actually, because this is a DNA ball. Oh, I like that. Here. Yay. So we're putting all the waters in the smaller container and then putting the stress ball ones that are like shaving cream type in the front. Now we are organizing the poppets, just placing them inside of the drawer. It's gonna be so much easier for you to find all your poppets now. I know, it's gonna be so great. That's our first poppet drawer. I think it looks super organized. It looks really good. So all of these dimples are going to get their own drawer. That looks so colorful. 
Now this is like little tiny assortments of random things. So let's just start organizing them into the little tiny containers. The final results. That was actually way more work than I thought it was going to be. We put in a lot of time and a lot of effort. But I think it looks really nice. It looks so good. I'm really happy with how it turned out. And she did a lot of really cute like aesthetic little touches up at the top. And I just think it looks really pretty. I love it. Thank you, Mrs. Bench. If you enjoyed watching, please make sure to like the video and subscribe to my channel. And if you want to see more like this, you can go to my page. It is Fidget with Reagan on Instagram, TikTok, and YouTube. We'll see you later. Bye. Bye.